the reviews were off the chart. We are in Point Loma, and this is supposed to be the best sandwiches, not just one sandwich, the best sandwiches in Point Loma. And Steph was reading the reviews. Like, we've driven by this place, and there's always people, we're like, what is going on What there? is going on at this there's place that is so there. crazy? There's always people, and during COVID, and there was nobody around, there were still people there. Yeah, okay. Steph was reading the reviews, and uh, all the sandwiches get great reviews, but we're gonna go with their... It the, said on the outside, Famous the, Four, or Try Our... Uh, Philly cheesesteak. Yeah. So if you're in Philadelphia, we're getting ready to, to show you how they do it in Southern California. Not really. But Fizzy we are, water for you. We are, oh, thank you. From home. We are gonna show you. Aren't these I mean, we literally, cute? we've been seeing this for over a year and we just never, we're just always going, what is going on? And this time we're gonna find out. You can't go inside. You go inside, but you can't stay in there. You go in, you order, and then they bring it out to you on a patio. And uh, and there was a procession of people. Like it was busy. I asked about the cookies. Yeah, cause it said, yeah. it comes with a little chocolate chip cookie. And I told Steve, you better get those freaking cookies. You better do it right. And he's like, well, I don't know. I'm like, I trust you to do it. And so it came with this cookie. Isn't it cute? Yeah. It looks so good. So Philly cheesesteak from Southern California. They get and rave reviews. I'm super picky. I hate condiments. And I don't like tomatoes on a sandwich. Yeah. And I just ordered it the way it came. Because Ooh, if they're... We might have to split it, Steph. You decide. Look at look at the size of it. It's not going to be good later, would it? Philly cheesesteak? You could eat that a week later. That's fact. I think it's going to be one of those things that'll be gross later. All right, later. then we're going to have to scarf it down. Uh, it's hot. Oh, good. No it's mayo. It's got... Ooh, you could... You know there's a... that. Look at this. You know the no smell mayo. of onions? I looked on the thing. Okay, good. I forgot to tell you. I looked Thank and seen you. what was a... That... This is the good smell of onions. And it, it's... Man, it's this thing onions, smells really... Said. Yeah. Okay, right now, this is smelling terrific. Bradley's Use homemade. the noise. I'm gonna do, I wish we had a big napkin. What do we have, uh, Starbucks napkins? Yeah, always. In. I got a napkin issue. He does. No one uses more napkins than this guy. Got the grandkids almost there. Grandkids are freaking <laughs> using them like crazy too. I never use a napkin. Steph, I mean, it's really rare. Listen. And he goes, he wads them up. He uses it once, wads it. I, another one wads it. I am. 85% Neanderthal. You the gotta keep your that, hands clean. The fact that I can even use a napkin is, <laughs> is pretty darn impressive. Um, Man, it smells good. He also gets his hands stickier <laughs> than anyone in the world. Like, I don't understand how I don't it's understand possible. how you can eat, like... Look, I'm not even putting anything on it, and I'm not getting wet. No, like if we have, um, if we have like a, say an ice cream. Like a Klondike bar? She gets nothing on her. I don't know how you do that. I mean, I spill stuff on me all the time, but I don't actually get sticky from the. I oven. get it all over me, and I, I'm trying to perfect it. I don't understand it with, how you And do I don't it. eat the thing holding the ice cream. I use the wrapper like she taught me, and I am like, he by the time I'm done, I'm a mess. He hasn't even touched anything. And it's stressful, by the way. It's stressful that I have to eat that way. But look at this. You want to hold the ice cream bar in your hand? Yeah. Mm. Oh, that pickle's good. Cheater? Yeah. Oh, sorry. Never mind. Wait, let's he act has... like I didn't do that. Oh, well. Hold on. That, that tastes like a regular pickle at first, but it's not. Okay, cheers. Cheers. Mmm. That's a good, mmm. That's a good sandwich. I see why they wait in line. We're gonna get wow. this every time we come, maybe. I'm gonna maybe try, try that. a different sandwich every time. They had a list, this they had their board, though. and I don't think Steph would probably like it, but I'm gonna try different sandwich the every calamari. Time? You are? That's the one I told you about. And you I said know. no. No, when, well, this is the top of the list, so I wanted to do this first. If we didn't like this, I wasn't going to try anything else. Mm. Wow. I wish you guys could smell it and taste it. The, I see the why the roll, line. The, the bun, this is a big thing for me, too. I don't like a real soft one, and I don't like a real hard one. This one's just right. <laughs> it's got a little crisp, yeah. like you can break through it. It's delicious. It's not too giant either to where uh -oh. you're like, it's too much bread. It's a good ratio. Mm. Got some, uh, mm. man, good job. Good job, Philly, for inspiring, inspiring this. Go Eagles. Gourmet bagger. You got it made. This is the right way. Gourmet bagger in Point Loma. All right, well, we're going to finish this up. And then um, 
We'll probably eat that cookie later. Yeah, I'm gonna be too full because I'm probably eating the whole thing. I'm definitely eating the whole thing now. I thought I. It's smaller, like it. it's flatter, mushier. It's not um, all bread like it's I a doable size. Uh huh. All right, well, Good well, job. well done, uh, the gourmet bagger. If you're ever in Point Loma, the mm. gourmet bagger. Check That's it good. out. Hmm. Man. I love it. Honey, look at how often we come down here and we've never gotten a sandwich from that place. And it's been a couple years now. And we just sit there and watch all the people. And we're like, why are they going? always going in there? What's so great about it? What could be so great? It's are great. we dumb? Uh -huh. It's like when you see a bunch of people at a restaurant, every time you're there, that's the best when you, sign that's is when when the you should go do door. it. Yeah. You should go, oh, we got to go test that place out. Mm -hmm. Man. We're dumb. This roll is great too. Uh -huh. Mm, mm, mm. People said you have to try their sourdough. What is this? That's French. Try their French also. Mm. A French Philadelphia sandwich. I wonder if an authentic Philadelphia cheesesteak is on a French dough. Yeah. Um, mm. What if we come back tomorrow? Mm. You could get the calamari and chomp. Mm. And chomp? Show them. I said we should get different sandwiches so we could show know, the difference, but... but he likes to be the same. I got to show you this cookie, by the way. He got us the big cookie because I did this on my on up. my own because she told me, "Hey, when you go in there, make sure you get that cookie." You got to do. About the cookie. And I asked right away. I said, "Is there? Does it come with a cookie?" And she said, "Yes, it's a little one." And I said, "Well, that's not gonna do." Look at that. Because my wife will go off on me. If, if they forgot to put the cookie in the bag, I would have been really upset. I would never have left there without a cookie in the bag. You gave me instructions, no. and I Look was, like, determined. at the size of wow. this soft cookie. Put it by my head. Up there, though. Yeah, you put it by my head there. Wow! <laughs> Look at the thickness. It's soft. Look how the, thick it is, Steph. The little show chocolate them, chips. Show them the thickness. Okay. Look at that. And it's soft. Mm. I remember when he ate that pickle. And by the way, what are you doing? That's what I'm paying. How did for I pickle. do? How did I do? That's a good cookie. I was payback for that pickle you you ate. I just want you to be happy. Oh, I'm so happy, honey. Thank you. Welcome. I was. I you made gotta him help me. It. I made him come over for it. All right. Steph's fizzy water. You all saw where she got that machine. It was a two pack. Came with these cute little two ones. I got it on Walmart, I think. You know, some people like they go, "Oh, I'm into yeah. this now." Like they like something. Oh. She drinks these all the time. No, all the time. You guys have no idea. I drink three entire bottles, like liter, and fizzy I put water. nothing in it. No flavor. I don't. I don't care for the flavor at all. I want it plain. It has to be ice cold. Ooh, that's cold. Like that, ice cold, and um delicious i am obsessed every day and i won't even drink regular water and when mila comes over like i don't drink that as often as she does he only drinks but, it with dinner yeah but when mila comes over mila and dean come over mila wants fizzy water right away and dean's like no thank you mm -mm. <laughs> yeah dean's like me it's just every so often but mila insists on the fizzy water mm -hmm. she, she likes she she wants to be like grammy <laughs> yeah it's but, cute anyway soda stream mm. not messing around it's awesome. I love it. Mm, mm, mm. What's it called when you watch people eat? Mukbang. Not the best word for it. Not at all. Like what do you like what do you think the first part? Wait, what is it? It's one word. Mukbang. Muck. So muck to me, what does that mean to you? That's like getting into the muck. Getting dirty and mud. And when mud I think stuff. of bang, I think of bangers and mash. Oh, Bangers and Masset sausages, right? I don't even like you saying the word right now. <laughs> I don't think we should say that word for some reason. Well, we're just I'm eating this little sandwich. I'm going to be stuck. Philly... We won't even eat dinner. We're going to be so full. Cool. Philly cheese steak, Southern California mm. style. Mm -hmm. So good. Wow. And it was only seven something, right? Yeah. Seven dollars and it comes with a cookie. Not bad. Really good. I just realized something. This is the best Philadelphia cheesesteak I've ever had. And I've had some that I really liked, but they, they tend to be more on the like heavy side. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like they're more, um, I don't know if it's the, something about the ingredients made it feel real like. Dense and heavy. Yeah. Wait, where's the best Philadelphia cheesesteaks you've ever had? 
you've ever oh. had. We haven't been to Philly. We had a really good one with Gator in Spain. Remember that? Oh, uh, I thought I that was a we were, uh, but it was in that LA was at, somewhere. That was at Anaheim at the after the Ducks game. Mm -hmm. Went to a Ducks soccer game. Not soccer, that was good. Ducks uh, hockey hockey game. Hmm, that was a. But I think it wasn't that an au jus? Some kind of au jus. Oh, it might have been a French dip. Yeah, you French dip. Same thing. Good one is Getting cheese. off track. My favorite, the best Philly steak I've ever had in my life, is this one. Mm -hmm. Nine to the next. Enjoy your life. Bye, guys.